Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back for another tutorial. Today is on this highly requested glittery brown eye. I wore this in my February favorites and I had a lot of requests for it. So this is for you guys. Keep watching. Okay everyone, let's jump right into the tutorial. First of all, I primed my face using the Make Sense by Cinegents Pore and Wrinkle Silk Minimizing Primer, best ever. Then we're gonna start with my favorite foundation, which is almost empty, but I have more of. It's the Make Sense Foundation in the shade Cream Beige. Then I'm taking my favorite ever, Morphe M439. Not using my hands to apply, just trust me, your makeup will look caca. It will look so much better if you use a brush, this brush specifically. I'm dotting it all over my face just to evenly distribute it and then I am going to blend it in as I'm showing you I am so broken out in this video you guys like so bad I have like a cystic zit on my nose that has taken up residence I'm gonna have to have it start forwarding its mail here soon like it's ridiculous and this just shows you how amazing this foundation is because suddenly it's like an airbrush all of that Pimples and imperfections are gone and blurred and it's awesome. I'm obsessed. I love it. If you don't have it, you need it. <laughs> then I'm taking my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15. This is fair. I love this concealer. However, I may have found something better and I'm going to be doing a video on it. I promise. So then I'm taking a damp beauty blender and I'm just going to blend that in. I am blending it into a triangle shape, but it's not as big of a deal as people make it out to be. Just as long as you blend it so that there's no harsh lines. I'm taking it onto my nose and down onto my chin just because it's a little lighter than my foundation. I don't want it to look super obvious that there's concealer under my eye. Then I'm taking the Makeup Forever HD Setting Powder, and I am just setting that everywhere that I applied the concealer. This will keep it from... Um, creasing and caking into the crevices of your face and just help it last all day. Okay, then I'm taking my love, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. This is a very well-loved palette, as you can see. I have hit pan on many of the colors. I am taking a dip into Fawn, and I am just going to trace along the hollows of my cheekbones, blending it up. You don't want to blend down. That kind of defeats the purpose. So blend it into those areas where your face will create a natural shadow. This just creates a slimming effect to your face. Then I'm going to take a little bit more into Java, blend that onto my forehead, just where the sun would naturally hit. I'm kind of bronzing here while also just helping blend so that those lines aren't super obvious. Taking a little down onto my neck. You guys know I had a baby recently. I have a little extra weight I'm trying to hide there. Okay, then I'm taking the darker shade Java and I'm just really deepening up the hollows of my cheekbones to make it even more shadowy, even more slender. Then I'm dipping into these two shades, vanilla and banana. And I'm just going to go under the under eyes. I have pretty bad dark circles and banana is a yellow tinted powder. So this will just cancel out the blue and green that makes up the dark circles under your eyes and just help cover that and make it look a little more um, nice and well rested. Then I'm just blending that onto my T-zone just so it doesn't look stark white under my eyes. And then I'm going to crack myself up for a second. <laughs> <laughs> because I caught myself in my viewfinder and I was like no wonder my son laughs so hard when I do this you guys I look like a freaking horse like what's wrong with my lips why do they do that okay I'm done I'm done all right moving on Morphe 9b blush palette I freaking love this thing it's so 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 pretty I am going to dip into the middle color, which is kind of a terracotta -y, peachy color, and then this brighter pink color in the bottom right corner. And I'm just going to blend those two together using this crappy MAC brush. It's not really crappy. It's just overly priced. Use the Morphe brush E4. It's way better. Mine was just dirty from using it on a client, so I had to settle for my MAC brush. So I am using those two and blending them together on my cheeks. I love the Morphe palette. I love their blush. My only thing is that they don't last super long. So that's why the blush sense is so much better, but I was being lazy today. Okay, I'm gonna take scotch tape and rub it on the back of my hand to get rid of most of the stickiness and then apply it under my eye. This will just help apply a really flawless, smoky eye and you really don't have to worry too much about blending 
and getting it perfectly straight. This will just take the guesswork out of it. So if you're new to makeup or you just kind of are lazy like me and you don't want to have to stress about it, use this technique. It's awesome. It's a huge, huge time saver. So putting that on my eyes, I'm just making sure they're nice and even. And then I am going to go in with my eyeshadow. So today I am using, oh my gosh, oh, I'm so sexy. How sexy. I am using the Morphe 35O on a Morphe M433. Clearly I have a little bit of an obsession with Morphe. I can't help it. I love them. I love them. My only qualm is that they don't last all day, guys. They don't last all day. Ugh. So anyway, going in with the Morphe M433 in a warm taupey brown color from that shade and I'm just blending that in windshield wiper motions all over my lids then I'm taking this um, a little more baby pukey green color dipping that and I'm also going to sweep that in windshield wiper over the lid I'm just kind of warming up the lid as you add different colors it will just add more dimension to your eye look and give it more depth and just make it look really flawless and effortless that is key you don't want one shadow just all over your lid unblended it looks caca then I'm taking this really deep chocolatey brown I'm gonna sweep that and focus it mostly in the outer corner I want that to be the smokiest on the outside and again just taking a dip and going on my other eye focusing in that outer V you really don't have to worry about getting up on that tape because it'll align it for you then I'm taking the whitest color on a clean Morphe M433 and I'm just blending that under my brow bone to kind of make the line not so stark. Taking off the tape, see how it gives you that perfect line? It's awesome. Now you can keep it like that, but I wanted mine a little softer, so I'm going back in with that same damp beauty blender and I'm going to soften it out a little bit. Okay, then we're taking my love Stila Magnificent Metals Shadow in Smoky Storm. This is amazing. So I'm just going to take it and using the applicator itself, I'm gonna dab that onto the center of my eyelid, mostly focusing on the center, but taking it a little bit into the inner and outer corners as well. You just wanna not take it up too high into the crease because then it'll look um, kinda of cheap, I guess you would say, and it will really just ruin the look. So keep it mostly on the lid. I'm taking it on my other eye as well, just trying to be as careful as I can because it is so pigmented. That's what's so amazing about this shadow. It's absolutely incredible. It really just amps up your look to the thousandth level and I want them in all the colors that they have. Okay, then on just a cheap little e.l.f. small angled brush, I am taking that deep chocolate brown and swiping that onto my lower lid. And then we are going to take that same Morphe M433 that we use to blend the darker colors and just swipe that along the crease that will kind of blend the sh glitter shadow into the brown shadows. You'll get a little bit of fallout from the glitter but because we set the under eye we'll be fine we'll be able to wipe that away. Awesome! Okay then I'm taking my favorite eyeliner in the entire freaking world. Senegent's Eye Sense Black Brown. It is a liquid liner. It is like a sharpie on your eyelids I'm not even joking like it will go nowhere it's waterproof it's smudge proof as someone who has terrible allergies and my eyes are always watering this is like my new best friend because I'm constantly wiping my eyes and this stuff stays on it's absolutely amazing then I'm taking shadow sense my favorite in my favorite color garnet it's just a gorgeous warm chocolatey brown it's so 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 pretty and I am gonna take that and trace along where I put that eyeliner just because I want it matte and I want it a little more brown. And this stuff is also waterproof and smudge proof, so it also doesn't come off. It's so amazing. I cannot tell you enough how great it is. I'm definitely, definitely hooked on it. So just tracing along that line, and then I am going to bake. So I'm using the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent, and I'm going to take that same damp beauty blender and dip a generous amount into it, and then just kind of trace below where we place that contour just to really clean it up, and you know what I'm going to say, chisel out that contour. <laughs> I love saying chisel. I don't know why. It's like my favorite word in the entire dictionary. I will use it all the time. 
So I'm just, again, tracing underneath that so we get a nice, clean line. I am a bit of a perfectionist. You know that. I will blend things until my fingers are bleeding, and every line has to be perfectly straight. I can't help it. Okay, I'm just dispersing that into my T-zone because, again, it's a pretty light powder, and I don't want it to be super obvious. So I am just dispersing that into my T-zone and lightening up that area a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to take the Translucid Powder by Cinegents in Natural, freaking love this stuff, and just swipe that away while also setting the rest of my face. This is the most gorgeous powder in the entire world. I'm not even joking. It's so pretty. It makes your face look airbrushed and porcelain and perfect, and I love it. Okay, then we are moving on to highlighter. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Champagne Pop. It's just a really pretty golden champagne-y color. Sweeping that onto the tops of my cheekbones, a little down the center of my nose, on the cupid's bow, a little under my eyebrows, and on the inner corner. And then you guys, I love, 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 love this highlighter but I was just kind of feeling like I needed a little something more like I needed more pop I needed more shine in my life so I'm going in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics yes ice cold skin frost this is stark white and this is just really gonna liven that up see what a difference that makes so just going over those same areas again so I can get more BAM and then ooh, my jam came on I will play it for you guys but then I would get in trouble for copywriting rules Oh my gosh, <laughs> I embarrass myself sometimes. Okay, I am taking Cabrow. This is the 3D Brown Tones just to set my eyebrows and offer a little bit extra oomph. I'm high maintenance. This is what I'm telling you. I'm high maintenance. I require two eyebrow gels. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Lip Gel. Yeah, I'm hey maintenance. You don't need to. And then I'm just going to apply mascara really fast. This is just a cheap one from the drugstore. Get whatever you need. Then I'm thinking, what lip color do I want today? I'm trying to decide here. I think I'm going to go with this one. It's Caramel Apple. It's so pretty. Okay, so if you haven't seen my Lip Sense application video, you do three thin layers. And I am going to show you the first layer, and then I'm going to jump to the third because it does take a little bit of time. Oh, look how pretty that color is. Holy poop. It is so pretty. I die. Oh, I love it. Okay, and then I finished doing my hair while keeping my mouth open that entire time. Yes. Skill and dedication right there. I'm just going to top it with Orchid Gloss, and then, oh, rub my lips together finally. <laughs> wow. My camera's even shaking because I was so excited about that lip gloss. I was like the Tin Man when he gets oil put back in his jaw. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look. If you did, give it a like. Give it a subscribe. Thank you so much for supporting my little channel. I love you guys to the moon and back. Oh, wow. I am just so attractive. You guys know you love me, right? Right? Thanks for watching. See you later. Liquid cream eyeshadow. It is the tittiest. <laughs> Did I just say titties? It is the prettiest. The prettiest. Not the tittiest. My grandmothers watch my channel. I'm so sorry, Grandma. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, we'll just cut that part out. <laughs> what am I saying? Nipples?